welcome back to another video. It is me, Brick by Brick Studios, and today I'm back with another video. Which I already said that. I don't know why I'm saying it. Okay, anyways. Today I'm reviewing the Halo Mega Construct Pelican Inbound. Um. I don't have just like the wasp. I don't have. I don't have much to say about the set. The set is just beautiful. It's it's wonderful. Personally, personally, I don't own uh, any of the original pelicans. The other three. Uh, I don't own the original. I don't own the original pelican. Uh, the gunship and then the NMP pelican. I don't own any of those, sadly. But I don't. After I've seen this, I don't want to own any of them. This is just the best. Um, it's just this set. Like every time, I, every time I look at it, I always feel like I I end up seeing something new, something I haven't seen during the building. It's just that. It's just that good. But anyways. In instead of listening to me just talking about how good this is, let's actually review it. Uh, but first, before we actually get a review, I want to talk about essentially how good this set actually is, which I kind of did, but I actually want to dive fully into how good the set is. So, this set released in the year 2020. Uh... Uh, the set number is... Where is it? I'm looking at the box right now. Um, I can't find the box number. This is not good. No set number. Okay, it's fine. You know what? I don't think it really matters. But anyways. Um, as I said, the set was released in the year 2020. Uh, the set comes with 2,000... 24 pieces. You you heard that right. 2,024 pieces. This does not look like 2,024 pieces, does it? In my mind, it does not. This looks at least a 1,000. But believe me, it is 2,024. It's insane. And on top of that... What you're getting for your money is insane. A hundred fifty dollars. One five zero for this. Just it it it's it's just perfect. But in my but in my mind, I think I think the reason why it's like so expensive is because you're getting a banished hunter. Another banished uh, hunter. Would've been nice if they included two, but if they included two, I want to say the price maybe might would probably have gone up ten, twenty dollars more. Cause I I don't I don't work for Mega, but I bet that, and but I bet that these cost a lot to make. Beautiful Hunter, uh, it's actually dark silver. It's like it's a dark gunmetal gray compared to the lighter gray on the wasp hunter just nice figure in general but yeah i think this is why the set costs so much but anyways enough of me rambling let's actually get into the review so the first figure which is in my mind probably one of the best figures in the set come on focus focus there we go. One of the best figures in the set, in my opinion, is going to be the pilot. And when I say best figure, I'm kind of joking. Hunter and Chief are probably the best. Come on. There we go. Uh, this is the pilot, aka uh, Esparza. You can correct me in the comments if I'm saying his name right after we learn at the end of the Halo Infinite uh, campaign. Spoilers! This figure is just, it's, it's nice, well done all the way around. Um, I've never owned a, okay, this is starting to get annoying. I don't know why it wants to focus on all this, I don't know, it won't, 
keep in focus. Okay. It's fun. But, yeah. Uh, comes with, he, he comes with a nice gun, uh, not gun metal. Like, uh, like, he, he comes with, he comes equipped with a silver, uh, sidekick. Uh, the nice blue undersuit. Uh, whatever, the jumpsuit, I guess, I don't know, I want, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a jumpsuit. Um, and on top of that, let's remove his helmet. Come on. It's equipped with a very nicely detailed pilot helmet with the metal, or with the silver painted, uh, the microphone piece, I want to say. Yeah. Just nice helmet all around. And then here is his face. I'm so glad that my character's face or 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 uh, my pilot's face didn't come all messed up and sloppy like other uh, YouTubers I've seen. Pretty sure it was DMARC. I'm pretty sure it was Demarcation Media. I'm pretty sure his came with a messed up face. I'll have to look into that. Just don't trust any sources I give you. <laughs> just nice figure all around. Uh, the pupils are just two tiny holes with the white, with white paint uh, going under them to represent the, I guess like the actual eye and the uh, iris. And then on top of that, he actually has the scar. On his face, the scar in his eyebrow. Just really good figure all around. Uh, I'm glad they finally made him. This set, to, this was way overdue for me though, because I just recently got this. But yeah, nice figure, and I hope Mega maybe make some more versions of him. I mean, I mean there is only, there only is I mean there is only like one version of him, but I would like to see some like actual scenes from the game, not just sets, but like scenes. Anyways, here is the pilot. Next figure up is the one and only, the Master Chief. The most iconic figure in all of Halo. Sorry, I'm just moving so I can get better position because my, my sides are in the hurt from leaning. Anyways. Uh, if you haven't seen, seen my last review of the Wasp, I show that this chief is, in my mind, the best chief. And I'm keeping that point. This is, in my, this is probably the best Master Chief Mega's made for the Infinite line. Reason, it's just, it's just a silver outlining that makes it look good. And then also, if you haven't, uh, like, I guess, figured or, like, notice, notice it out yet. They've actually, uh, for this chief, the 117 is much smaller than the previous ones. Uh, uh, the 117 used to cover up, like, this whole entire, uh, the whole entire, uh, uh, left side of this chest piece. Nope, now it's just super tiny. It's hard, it's even hard for me to see in person, I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> anyway, just nice chief in general. This chief actually has the painted flashlight. My helmet did kind of come a uh, messed up because of the breathing tubes. You see this side looks like it's more full. This side, it doesn't look as good. Looks like it's a little, it's, it, it's, you can tell it's more thin and all that. It's fine. The visor looks good as always. Everything just looks good. And then the silver, like, outlining goes all the way through his armor. Like, even on the back of his armor. The only place it doesn't show up for some reason, or sadly, is his, is are the thigh, or the, uh, yeah, or the thigh armor. Right, yeah, thigh. But, like, it's, it's, but like, it's even on the growing piece and everything. Back of the armor, right there. This is just a really well round figure. Let me take off this weapon so you can see a little better. Uh, but yeah. See, it goes all the way through his armor. And makes it just pop. 
Uh, you have... I, I don't know what these are. Pretty sure these are just vents. I'm pretty sure these are vents going across this armor. I would like to see Mega... Mega, uh, essentially reuse Kelly's armor. Uh, turn it, turn it into a male version of the armor and put it on Chief, because that will look way more accurate. And so, so with the shoulder pads. The shoulders, they're not, they these are not the ones Chief essentially has. Uh, the ones that Kelly has for the Halo, from the, from the uh, Razorback, is more accurate to this Chief. So is the torso, but we don't have a male version of the torso, and we don't have Chief with us. Armors, with our shoulders for some reason. Anyways, this look, but this is, uh, the Master Chief. In my mind, the best, as I keep saying, because it is. And now let's move on to the Hunter. And last up for figures, we have the Hunter. Um, this Hunter is... I like it, but in my mind, I would prefer the other Hunter. Um, I don't know, I just don't think the Gunmetal Grey really suits the banished hunter i think i think i think the lighter silver fits the hunter more than the dark gray or gunmetal anyways uh it's the same exact hunter as as before same mold same same everything it's just recolored into the banished colors uh you actually get two hunters in the 20th in the 19th anniversary it's either the 19th or 20th anniversary warthog run I really want that. I don't have an Arbiter. It sucks. But anyways. But yeah. Just really good figure. All around. Um. Now if I'm going to say it. If you have like a flamethrower piece in like red. Or uh, either that or like a transparent rod in red. You can prop. You can definitely put it in the uh, main cannon right here. And make it look like he's blasting out a thing or plasma. I don't. I don't. I pre pretty sure it, their arms are essentially just mini fuel rod cannons or large. But anyways, uh, the hunter don't really have much to say about him. The is the exact same. But let's move on to the actual pelican itself. So. The Pelican. This is, in my mind, the best version, iteration, they've ever made. That will not change, ever. This is just beautiful. I'm sorry, I, I this is actually quite painful to record. Uh, okay, it's fine. But yeah, the best Pelican I think they've ever made. Uh, it, so this pelican has a chain gun, which I think is actually the first for pelicans besides the gunship, come with a chain gun. Uh, all the landing gear actually fold. Let me just flip over. Front landing gear can just fold into a small area, and then the rear landing gear. It's a little more. It's actually it's easy. Well, kind of. So there's these little tabs right here. Push it in. Uh, unlock the landing gear. Same thing on the other side. You just click that. And boom. Uh, so, these landing gear, or, or the rear gear, they become very loose over time. If you keep using it, it comes loose, and you don't have, you know, it's just, a, it's just annoying. But, anyways. Um, but with this Pelican, there is one, I guess, big problem I have with it. And it's how long the actual troop bay is. If you take a look, here's the very front of the pelican, all the way back. You may think, oh well, this area is fine. It's, it's until you get up here. Right here, where, the, where this is, this is the most just annoying part of this whole set. I don't know why, it just is. It, 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 it's a pet peeve. It's just, the pelican looks too long compared to the actual top of it. I feel like they should have extended the rear of it out a little more, made the wings bigger. Sorry, this is actually painful. <sighs> okay. Let me raise my camera up a little bit, or my phone camera. 
So we'll get a little more space while doing this. Actually, you know what? I'll move my camera back and move it up a little more. Yeah, that's, that feels a little better. Anyways. But yeah. Biggest, biggest, just, uh, just biggest problem I have with this set. Other than that, it's just wonderful. And I like how they actually got, got the, uh, the little hook detail. Well, not hook, but like where a Warhog would be attached. Because the actual Pelican has these little, just, support beams right here. I'm glad they got that. This area should be, should be a little longer. It should be like, eight, it sh I feel like this area should be like eight studs. Like, I don't know why, but they could have just extended this by eight studs and I'd be happy. Eight studs is all I'm asking. Sorry, for a second I, for a second I thought, I, for a second I thought my camera cut out. I was, mm. Anyways, just, just, yeah. Eight, four studs, I would have been happy. But anyways. Uh, Troop Bay, or the, or the ramp, comes down. I'm not really a fan of this ramp. Um, I just, I don't know why they went with this type, this kind of ramp. I'm very confused why they went with, want like a fixed ramp. Instead of just going with a plain flat one, closing it. But it's probably just to get the shape. Uh, there is a, so there actually the YouTuber uh, out there on YouTube who did a mod of where you just take uh, four, uh, you just take four clips and you can make this back section uh, like articulatable, so you can actually have a complete flat ramp and then just fold it up. You get it in the right shape and you fold it. It's really cool. Um, inside the pelican, boom. Uh, there's a hallway going all the way up to the very front, which is wonderful. There's one seat in there. One seat, I know. Um, it's very hard, hard to see. But, from this view, we can actually see how the mechanism works so for the landing gear. Here it is. Just push this, you just push in the tab, and that does that. Uh... It's just, yeah. Uh, here in a minute. So real quick, let me finish up the whole exterior, showing all the all of, like the all of uh, the details, and then we'll move on to the interior. Yuck. Turn off the flashlight now. So, first one is the front, or the first, I guess, detail of the front. And this is, this, this is probably the most fun I had building it. The front end was, like, the most fun I had. It's really interesting how they got all this to fit together. You just open everything. So this, like, this is how they got the front. It's literally just, just clip pieces. And then these close into place. These close as well. And, one, and then once that, all that's done, you just fold down the hatch and boom. It's wonderful. These are also on a joint, or a, or I guess, yeah, or, um, on, on a hinge, to get that shape. My hand's starting to hurt, ow. Uh, I should probably take off the land, the, the clear piece. Yes, there is a clear piece included for landing gear, because the landing gear, disclaimer, the, the landing gear does not support the Pelican, okay? <laughs> Just saying it now, it does not support, it only supports it for like a few minutes and it collapses, and it does not work again. Um, the troop bay opens. We'll look we'll at that in a minute. The wings, all all of the wings, they all articulate. Go up and down. Uh, there's actually a ton of detail in there. So this is just hold, held on by a ball or a socket joint, or a ball and socket joint, which is it, which is really just cool how they got that. Okay, now this doesn't want to go on. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll f just give me a minute so I can fix that. <laughs> Sorry, I have to fix that. Uh, I didn't think it. I thought it would go back on, but didn't. Okay, got it. Uh, there's thrust. So there's actually the thruster detail. This is supposed to be the bottom thruster, the rear thruster. And then there's pylons right here, and 
I guess if you buy two of these, you can actually have the missiles. You can have four uh, rocket pods on one tug and have nothing on the other one. Rocket pods, that's a printed detail. There's six rockets in it. Really simple build. Kind of, kind of a pain though. Lights, and the printed UNSC logo. On my Pelican, the one big, big, uh, the one big problem I have is these like to pop off a lot. Okay, well not these, specifically, but this one specifically loves to pop off for no apparent reason. It's either, it's this one right here. This one just loves to pop off for no reason. Uh, more UNSC detail all around the rear engines also work. Uh, same thing with the nice disruptors. Just lovely ship. Just lovely model. Um, the side, and of course, side UNSC logo. And then I don't think I've showed the bottom yet, but the bottom is actually quite detailed. It actually has the slope right here, which is accurate. Landing gear bay, quite open. I know they could not have fit fit doors in there, but that would have been absolutely amazing if they did. Uh, if you're wondering uh, what this yellow piece is, we'll get to that in a minute. Cause, cause the thing is, if so, this yellow rod, it's on the both sides of the Pelican. If I and if I and if I pull those out, the entire thing will, will collapse. <laughs> so yeah, let's not do that. But anyways, uh, I guess let's get into the interior of the said pelican. So with this pelican, how you how you are going to op to open it? It's quite nice. So first, you got to take off this piece back here. You just take off this piece back here. Set that aside. Next, you got to fold up these front pieces right here. These are the engine vents. As you can see, with the little vents on the very front. You just fold those up. You fold them up all the way back. After that, you lift up the front engine. Completely full, uh, facing the sky. And then right after that, you just open up the that. The, I guess, the, the hatch. And then, what you do, you grab both engines, and you just pull. The entire thing opens. It does not stay in place. It does not stay in place. Okay, uh, that just got popped off. Um, Ignore that. But yeah, the entire thing opened up. So I'm trying to flashlight so you can see. And here it is. The entire interior. Let me just move this back a little bit. It's way easier to see. Um, yeah. Uh, the set uses... So the set uses ball and socket joints. There's two of them on each side. This one has these. And then this side has the actual, has the female adaptation. Yes, Lego calls, calls uh, the ball joints female and male. Uh, ball, ball socket joints, I don't know why. It's just a Lego thing. But yeah, um, so inside the set, there is a little fire extinguisher right here. Pull that off, uh, it's either a fire, it's either a fire extinguisher or a smoothie. I don't know. Do I do whatever you want? If you can get this part, this, if you can get uh, this piece right here in like blue or something, and so and also a uh, this piece. You can you can get a pretty uh, convincing smoothie if you buy like a like a red straw or whatever. I think Mega's on something. Mega is definitely on. Mega is very much on something right there. Just put that back. Trying to figure out how that goes on. Yeah, there we go. Um. Okay, it's not. It's it doesn't want to focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, there's this little hook right here. You may ask, well, what is this hook for? 
this hook thing is to actually connect Master Chief like this. It's a little difficult to do, but it is very much possible. It's very difficult because I'm not up close to it. I'm not doing a face reveal. May if we get a hundred subs or even a thousand, who knows? Maybe I'll do something for my for that. But here you go. Your Master Chief can just be put it right there. You can create the opening scene of the Infinite you doing that. Have the pilot and everything just right there. Um Yeah, uh, there's sadly only one single seat. I was quite sad, you could say. You realize there's only one single seat. Um, I don't know why Mega put one seat. Like, like I just said, it really sucks. But hey, uh, due to the but due to the landing gear uh, mechanism and everything, you really don't have that much space. Uh, you can definitely probably modify this and have two seats or even four seats if you take out the whole mechanism. You can definitely have four seats. That is for sure. Uh, there's a little scanning here of Chief. And then there's two of these right here on both sides. Uh, the seat does hold a figure. Not, not really good though. It kind of takes some fiddling to do. And then also included with the set, uh, so included in the set, uh, besides the shock rifle and the sidekick, there is a bulldog and just black, just just a black bulldog. Uh, just we've seen this many times. This is one of I, I th I'd say this is the b I can't speak. This is I think the better shotgun in Halo. Now don't now I can already hear the unsubscribe. Uh, I can already hear, uh, hear it, hear other fans, my fans being uns unsubscribing. But I think this is the better shotgun. I think the Bulldog is better than the original. Uh, I don't know. Probably just the fire rate. I would like to see the original shotgun, uh, return with the one-shot kill. But, hey, Table Infinite, and they need something. I don't know. But anyways. Top of that, you come, you come with a gunmetal gray AR. Really nice. Uh, but, yeah. I don't really think I have much more to say about the set. Let me just... I did not mean to do that. Oh, okay. Oops. Um, <laughs> okay, that, that was a mistake. Anyways. But... I don't, I don't think I have anything else to say about the set. It's just that good. Um, I actually don't have anything to say about this. It's just, it's, it is the perfect set. I don't think I can ask for anything else. Well, actually I can. I could ask for a, I don't know, maybe a, I don't know, a signature, a signature series Pelican? I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know, something mini fix skill? <laughs> Anyways. I actually don't have anything to say about this. It's just the perfect set. As I keep saying, because I'm not one. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Just, there's so many details I can go into, but I don't. I want to because I'm hungry. I just I want to actually do something. Well, anyways, uh, everyone, this was Brick by Brick Studios. Well, it still is. I don't know why I said that, but anyways, this was Brick. This was Brick. This was Brick by Brick Studios. I and this was my review of the Pelican Inbound. Uh, expect more videos in the future, or very soon, because. I think this is the first time that I've actually uploaded a video. How long has it been? Like three days? Two, two, three days? It's, it's nice. This video will be out tomorrow. Today is the 
uh, so today is the 20th for me, so, th so uh, this video will be out hopefully on the 21st. Um, but yeah, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And this is Brick by Brick Studios, signing out. Goodbye, have a wonderful day everyone. Goodbye, again.